I love chicken biryani. All of my friends love chicken biryani. Suppose hypothetically I invite all of them over for dinner and I promise that I would make them chicken biryani. And in this hypothetical world since we are assuming things also assume that there is no such thing as the internet and there is no place where I can look up recipes for chicken biryani and that I have to figure it out all by myself. How would you go about it if you were in my shoes? Now all the business leaders at this point start to think about something that they've been taught in the past which is called first principles thinking which means you would go to the root of the problem break down things to its very building blocks the very basics and every dish not just a biryani even a paneer makhani or butter chicken all of it have the same building blocks which is how sweet is it how salty is it how spicy is it how sour or bitter it is these are the tastes we feel these are the tastes we register end of hypothetical situation now let's go to the crux of the video which is business leaders i mentioned them just a moment ago if you are a business leader or somebody who is an aspiring leader something that your job demands is for you to have presence when you present data when you present information to your teams do you have the presence that is required to garner attention to drive your point home most leaders go about this in a very haphazard manner the way i would try to make a biryani now let's loosely form associations here assume that the immaculate presentation that you have to deliver in a week's time is that dish is that chicken biryani which is supposed to be tasty and your friends are going to come over and taste this biryani just the way your audience is going to walk into that conference room and listen to and experience your presentation the chicken and the biryani of this presentation are the slides and the things that you say but let's go back to the building blocks the basics of any presentation what are the building blocks of your presentation let's find out now there are six building blocks six of them that go into every single presentation each of these is marked by a letter and the letters are p v l e g s we'll discover them as we go along let's take p first the first building block is posture or poise 75% of our communication is nonverbal which means the moment you've walked into that conference room opened up your laptop fired up that presentation before you say that first word that's 75% of all that you had to say the body language that you carried into that room and the body language that you carried throughout your presentation the way you stand the way you move all of that that we conveniently ignore makes up 75% which is posture the second ingredient is v which is the voice the voice aspect of your presentation how you sound now most of us don't have 100% control over how we sound some of us naturally have squeaky voices there's nothing we can do about it but the second aspect of voice is the way we speak which is the pace with which we speak if we speak too fast it means we're nervous if we speak too slow we're boring the audience these are all the controllable elements of your voice which you have direct access to the third element is l L is the life that you bring into the room. Are you bringing a negative pessimistic energy or an annoying optimistic energy neither of which the audience wants to see. The life that your audience wants to see is one where you're sure about what you're saying. Is one where you empathize with the audience. Is one where you're trying to connect. The life of the presentation is the attitude with which you approach it. The fourth ingredient is E or eye contact. This is the part where you actually connect with the audience we spoke about connecting with the audience in the life piece actually establishing that connection has a lot to do with looking your audience in the eye and building that connection many of us find it difficult to actually maintain eye contact with the audience a simple strategy to follow with bigger audiences is to divide your audience into four different quadrants if there are too many people in the room you can't look each and every person in the eye sure with a smaller intimate audience you can give that one on one attention but with a larger audience divide your audience into quadrants and periodically shift your attention shift your gaze from one quadrant to the next because every person in that particular quadrant thinks you're looking at them so the trick works like a charm the fifth ingredient is g which is gestures your hands can be an extension of your own personality when you use your hands when you're speaking it feels like an extension of the words that are coming out of your mouth it almost feels as if your hands are carrying those words in a platter and serving it to the audience that was a weird metaphor but i think it works and the last ingredient is s now s is this silence 
as speakers we don't tolerate the silence and the gaps in our speech so what we tend to do is fill it up with filler words the ums the ahs you know basically what i'm trying to say is i think i believe actually these are all filler words that have no meaning instead of using these words and making yourself sound unsure say nothing use silence silence is powerful that's the sixth ingredient as some of you may be wondering this fellow didn't mention content at all content is the central piece to my talk how can i worry about all these different ingredients without actually worrying about what i'm going to say well that's where you're the expert there's nothing i can do there you know your content better than anybody else you don't need help there what you need help with is serving that content in a conducive environment and these six ingredients that i've just explained will provide the most nurturing environment for the message that you want to convey to your audience and just like a perfect chicken biryani that has salt spices lime in perfect balance a perfect presentation has all these six different ingredients in perfect balance i hope you use these in a future presentation for yourself and if you've used any of these and want to comment on how much it's helped you or not helped you feel free to comment it on the video below and if you're thinking hey all of that sounded great but i'm still not confident to use all of this in real life i feel you we've all come from the same place there are only two kinds of speakers in the world those that are nervous and those that lie everybody is nervous trying to build that confidence up is a journey on its own and i've been through that journey it was a tough one but i've made a video about the things that helped me find my version of confidence and if you think it'll help you i'll link it to the end of this video make sure to check it out